Good afternoon. This is Tom Asper with the Viper Report. It's Thursday, May 27th. Markets have just closed. S&P up around four and a half. Dow up 110. Nasdaq lower, and the Russell was strong, up over a percent. As crude oil was also good. Contrary to this headline in Yahoo, after the close, the market rally really wasn't tied to the jobless claims. They were just a bit better than expected. But I would argue that it was because of the strong market internals that we've been seeing all week. In today's Viper ETF report, of course, we have our summary table. You can see all the arrows here. Daily ED lines, strong. Everything was positive here. And we have this chart of the NYSE composite. Shows a trading range. Today's publication, I thought we could potentially see a break out of this range in the next week or two. But look at the AD line here. Very strong. Moving sharply higher. It already made a new high. So, And as I noted in the commentary, this strong action of the advanced decline line favors a new high for the NYSE and a likely upside breakout. This is what the AD line looks after today's action. You can see it's surged even further today because the market internals were quite positive all day. The summary sheet we discussed frequently shows 2,153 stocks up, 1,195 down. 225 new highs, just 23 new lows. We featured this chart on Monday's report of the new high, new lows. You can see the number of new highs soared in May. You can see the new highs have made higher highs, new lows, lower highs. This supports the bullish case and the fact that we will, should eventually break out of this formation to the upside. This is one of the many indicators we follow day in day out and we keep you informed of their status in our publications. Despite the bullish outlook we're still in, continuing to take profits. Traders were advised to take profits on Tuesday. There was a special update before hour before the close to close out our positions in the IWD which triggered a doji sell signal on Tuesday. Uh, investors are still long from way back here and, and I looking for traders to get back in if we do see a deeper correction. Of course our positions are updated to subscribers in every report. You can see the IWD we're in at 135.47 sold it at 159.52 for a 17 and three quarters percent profit. We also took closed out some of the our position in the XOP and we took a couple of small losses in KRE and the TBT. Pretty much we've got some nice running profits here. Uh, up 32% in healthcare, 19.7% in XLP, and almost 13% in VAW. Of course, that was as of Wednesday's close. Those numbers have actually got a little bit better. We got a good entry point in GLD. That's the SPDR Gold Trust. We're 50% long with about a 7.6% profit. That's just in the last month. You can see we get in, got in on. You can see we got in on April 29th at 165.14, kind of extended on a short-term basis. So we're looking for a pullback to add to that position. OBV breakout confirmed our bullish view. If you'd like a copy of either the Viper ETF or the Viper Hot Stocks report. You can email me at tom at viperreport.com. If you'd like to sign up, we go to the viperreport.com and you click on the Viper ETF report or the Viper Hot Stocks report. If you sign up before June 1st, you got a few days here, we'll give you uh, a $5, about a 15% discount on your first month. So I hope you come and join us. We have a lot of very satisfied customers. Have a great Memorial Day weekend and stay safe. Thank you.